which of the graphs represent the following two linear equations? To solve this, we're going to need to change these linear equations into slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b, where m is equal to our slope and b is equal to our y-intercept. And then we can use those two, uh, those two pieces of information to figure out which of these graphs represents the equations. So let's start with our first equation, 6x plus 2y equals 2. And if we want to put it into slope-intercept form, we need to isolate our y variable. So let's take everything else and move it to the other side of the equation. 6x is positive, so we need to do the opposite and subtract it from both sides. This will cancel, leaving us with 2y equals a negative 6x plus 2. And then 2 is being multiplied to y, so the opposite is dividing everything by 2. This will cancel, leaving us with y equals negative 6 divided by 2 is 3 negative, and then 2 divided by 2 is just 1. So here's our first uh, slope-intercept form equation. And then let's do our other one, 2x plus y equals 1. Again, we want to isolate our y variable, so let's subtract 2x from both sides, do the opposite operation. That will cancel, leaving us with y equals a negative 2x plus 1. And this is our second equation. So both of these have a y-intercept of positive 1. So both graphs should be crossing the y-axis at y equals positive 1. Only one line is passing through this point for c, so that's incorrect. Both lines are passing through the point for D, so that's a possibility. Both are passing for A, so that's a possibility. But B only has one, so B is incorrect. Now, the way to tell the difference between answer choice A and answer choice D is to look at our slopes. Our slopes are both whole numbers. They are negative, so that means both graphs are going to be descending uh, in the negative direction from left to right, and both of them are for A and D. This one's descending in the negative direction, descending, 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 right? They're both, all of them are decreasing. But the slope in answer choice A is not as steep as the slope in answer choice D. The bigger whole number you have for your slope, or the bigger, you can say, absolute value. So absolute value of negative 3 just negates the negative sign, so we have a positive 3 and a negative 2. So these are relatively big whole numbers. Um, they're greater than 1, which means that the slope is going to be quite steep. Slopes that are less than 1, if your m is less than 1, like you have a fraction or a decimal, like say you have 0.2x or you have 1 half x, that is how you get slopes that look like this. They're not quite as steep. So if our two equations have whole numbers greater than 1 as the slope, we can assume that the slope is going to be much steeper, like in answer choice D, and choose that as our correct answer.